Number 1 The Viking Ship Museum is located on the Bygdøy Peninsula in Oslo, Norway. It is part of the Museum of Cultural History of the University of Oslo, and houses three Viking-era burial ships that were found as part of archaeological finds from Tun, Gokstad, Osberg and the Borre Mound Cemetery. Number 2 Akershus Fortress or Akershus Castle is a medieval castle in the Norwegian capital Oslo that was built to protect and provide a royal residence for the city. Since the Middle Ages the fortress was the namesake and centre of the main fief and later main county of Akershus, which was originally one of Norway's four main regions and which included most of eastern Norway. The fortress itself was located within Akershus main county until 1919, and also within the smaller Akershus sub-county until 1842. The castle has also been used as a military base, a prison and is currently the temporary office of the Prime Minister of Norway. Number 3 Frogner Park is a public park located in the West End borough of Frogner in Oslo, Norway. The park is historically part of Frogner Manor, and the manor house is located in the south of the park, and houses Oslo Museum. Both the park, the entire borough of Frogner as well as Frognersetren derive their names from Frogner Manor. Frogner Park contains, in its present center, the Vigeland installation, a permanent sculpture installation created by Gustav Vigeland between 1924 and 1943. It consists of sculptures as well as larger structures such as bridges and fountains. The installation is not a separate park, but the name of the sculptures within the larger Frogner Park. Informally the Vigeland installation is sometimes called, Vigeland Park, or, Vigeland Sculpture Park, the director of Oslo Museum Lars Rodi said, Vigeland Park, doesn't really exist, and is, the name of the tourists, as opposed to, Oslo natives more down-to-earth name, Frogner Park. The park of Frogner Manor was historically smaller and centered on the manor house, and was landscaped as a baroque park in the 18th century by its owner, the later General Hans Jacob Scheele. Number 4 The Royal Palace in Oslo was built in the first half of the 19th century as the Norwegian residence of the French-born King Charles III John of Norway, who reigned as King of Norway and Sweden. The palace is the official residence of the current Norwegian monarch while the crown prince resides at Skorgum in Aska west of Oslo. The palace is located at the end of Karl Johans Gate in central Oslo and is surrounded by the palace park with the palace square in the front. Number 5 The Oslo Opera House is the home of the Norwegian National Opera and Ballet, and the National Opera Theatre in Norway. The building is situated in the Bjørvika neighborhood of central Oslo, at the head of the Oslofjord. It is operated by Statsbyg, the government agency which manages property for the Norwegian government. The structure contains 1,100 rooms in a total area of 49,000 square meters. The main auditorium seats 1,364 and two other performance spaces can seat 200 and 400. The main stage is 16 meters wide and 40 meters deep. The angled exterior surfaces of the building are covered with marble from Carrara, Italy and white granite and make it appear to rise from the water. It is the largest cultural building constructed in Norway since Nidarosdomen was completed circa 1300. Number 6 Karl Johans Gate is the main street of the city of Oslo, Norway. The street was named in honor of King Charles III John, who was also King of Sweden as Charles XIV John. Karl Johans Gate is a composite of several older streets that used to be separate thoroughfares. The eastern section was part of Christian IV's original city near the ramparts surrounding the city. 
When the ramparts were removed to make way for Oslo Cathedral, three separate sections eventually became Ostragade. Cut the wider western section was built during the 1840s as an avenue connecting the newly erected Norwegian royal palace with the rest of the city. In 1852, it was named Karl Johans Gate in honor of the recently deceased king. His equestrian statue, by sculptor Brynjolf Bergslein, was later erected during 1875 in front of the royal palace. When the Norwegian Parliament building was completed in 1866 at the junction of the two formerly separate streets, the two streets were joined and the whole length was named Karl Johans Gate. In its current route, it connects Oslo Central Station, the main railroad station in Oslo, and the Royal Palace. Number 7 Norsk Folk Museum, at Bydøy, Oslo, Norway, is a museum of cultural history with extensive collections of artifacts from all social groups and all regions of the country. It also incorporates a large open-air museum with more than 150 buildings, relocated from towns and rural districts. The Norwegian Museum of Cultural History is situated on the Bygdøy Peninsula near several other museums, including the Viking Ship Museum, the Fram Museum, the Kontiki Museum, and the Norwegian Maritime Museum. Number 8 The Fram Museum is a museum telling the story of Norwegian polar exploration. It is located on the peninsula of Bygdøy in Oslo, Norway. Fram Museum is in an area with several other museums, including the Kontiki Museum, the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History, the Viking Ship Museum, and the Norwegian Maritime Museum. Bygdøy Royal Estate, the official summer residence of the King of Norway, and historic Oscars Hall are also located nearby. The Fram Museum was inaugurated on 20 May 1936. It honors Norwegian polar exploration in general and three great Norwegian polar explorers in particular, Fritjof Nansen, Otto Sverdrup and Roald Amundsen. The museum also exhibits images of the fauna of the polar regions, such as polar bears and penguins. The Fram Museum is centered principally on the original exploration vessel Fram. The original interior of Fram is intact and visitors can go inside the ship to view it. Number 9 The Kontiki Museum is a museum in the Bygdøy Peninsula in Oslo, Norway. It houses vessels and maps from the Kontiki expedition, as well as a library with about 8,000 books. It was opened in a provisional building in 1949. In 1957, the current building, designed by architects F.S. Plateau and Otto Torgerson, was opened. In 1978, an extension of the museum designed by Torgerson was opened. The museum was originally built to house the Kontiki, a raft of balsa wood of pre-Columbian model that Norwegian adventurer Thor Heyerdahl used to sail from Peru to Polynesia in 1947. Another boat in the museum is the Ra 2, a vessel built of reeds according to Heyerdahl's perception of an ancient Egyptian seagoing boat. Heyerdahl sailed the Ra 2 from North Africa to the Caribbean after a previous attempt with the reed boat Ra failed. Beneath the raft is a model of the whale shark that the crew encountered on the voyage. The Kontiki Museum is situated near several other museums, including the Fram Museum, the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History, the Viking Ship Museum, and the Norwegian Maritime Museum. Number 10 Holmenkollen Ski Museum is located at the base of the Holmenkollen Ski Jump in Oslo, Norway. The ski museum was founded in 1923 and is the world's oldest ski museum. The initiator of the museum was the architect Holmar Wellhaven. 
His private collection formed the foundation of the antique and historic skis on display at the museum. Until 1951, the collection was housed in a building in the Oslo neighborhood of Frognesetren. In connection with the rebuilding of Holmen Kolbakken in 1951, the museum collection was moved to new premises at Holmen Kolbakken. The museum contains 4,000 years of skiing history, starting with rock carvings dating from the Stone Age. It also displays skiers and skis from the Viking Age. Additionally it displays equipment used in the polar expeditions of both Fritjof Nansen and Roald Amundsen. The Ski Museum is owned and operated by Skifferenningen. This association is responsible for the organization of sports, activities and events in Holmenkollen National Park. Number 11 Baigdoi or Baigdo is a peninsula situated on the western side of Oslo, Norway. Administratively, Baigdoi belongs to the borough of Frogner. Historically Baigdoi was part of Akka municipality and became part of Oslo in 1948. Baigdoi is a popular recreation area and is among the most fashionable residential areas in Norway, where the most expensive properties in the entire country are found. Baigdoi is also the home of five national museums as well as a royal estate. The wealthy of Christiania acquired country houses in Baigdoi during the 18th and 19th centuries, by the 19th century Baigdoi had become a favorite of the wealthy in the capital region and exclusively settled by the wealthy and their servants. Number 12 The Nobel Peace Center in Oslo, Norway is a showcase for the Nobel Peace Prize and the ideals it represents. The center is also an arena where culture and politics merge to promote involvement, debate and reflection around topics such as war, peace and conflict resolution. The center is located at the City Hall Square in Oslo, Norway. Number 13 The Vigeland Museum is a museum dedicated to Gustav Vigeland in Frogner, Oslo. It is located outside Frogner Park, which includes the Vigeland installation with sculptures by Gustav Vigeland. The museum is part of Oslo Municipality's Cultural Department. The museum is dedicated to Norway's most famous sculptor, Gustav Vigeland. The museum is Vigeland's former studio and residence. His urn and ashes are located in the tower of the museum. He designed his own bronze urn and burial monument, located above his apartment on the second floor. The official website for the museum is https colon slash slash vigeland.museum.no slash n. The Vigeland Museum celebrated Gustav Vigeland's 150th year anniversary in 2019. Until 2020 the museum used the spelling Vigeland Museet in Norwegian, the spelling was changed to Vigeland Museet after a long period where people often spelled it Vigeland's Museet. Number 14 Holmen Kolbakken is a large ski jumping hill located at Holmenkollen in Oslo, Norway. It has a hill size of HS 134, a construction point of K120, and a capacity for 70,000 spectators. Holmenkollen has hosted the Holmenkollen Ski Festival since 1892, which since 1980 have been part of the Fizz Ski Jumping World Cup and 1983 the Fizz Nordic Combined World Cup. It has also hosted the 1952 Winter Olympics and the Fizz Nordic World Ski Championships in 1930, 1966, 1982 and 2011. The hill has been rebuilt 19 times, Important upgrades include a stone takeoff in 1910, an in-run superstructure in 1914, and a new superstructure in 1928. 
During the Second World War, the venue was used as a military installation, but upgraded in the late 1940s. Further expansions were made ahead of the 1966 and 1982 World Championships, as well as in 1991. Between 2008 and 2010, the entire structure was demolished and rebuilt. The Hill record is held by Robert Johansson at 144.0 meters. The Hill is part of Holman Collin National Arena, which in addition to cross-country and biathlon venues has the normal Hill Mitstabaken. Number 15 The Astrup Fernley Museum of Modern Art is a privately owned contemporary art gallery in Oslo in Norway. It was founded and opened to the public in 1993. The collection's main focus is the American appropriation artists from the 1980s, but it is currently developing towards the international contemporary art scene, with artists like Jeff Koons, Richard Prince, Cindy Sherman, Matthew Barney, Tom Sachs, Doug Aitken, Olafur Eliasson and Kai Guo Qiang. The museum gives six to seven temporary exhibitions each year. A Strupp Fernley Museum of Modern Art collaborates with international institutions and produces exhibitions that travels worldwide. In 2012 the museum moved to two new buildings designed by Renzo Piano on Chubulman. Number 16 Oslo Cathedral, formerly our Saviour's Church, is the main church for the Church of Norway Diocese of Oslo, as well as the parish church for downtown Oslo. The present building dates from 1694 to 1697. The Norwegian royal family and the Norwegian government use the cathedral for public events. It was closed for renovation in August 2006 and reopened with a festive high mass on 18 April 2010. Number 17 Oslo Museum is a museum in Oslo dedicated to the history and culture of Oslo. It was formed in 2006 by the merger of Oslo City Museum, the Intercultural Museum and the Theatre Museum, which are now departments within Oslo Museum. A fourth museum, the Labour Museum, joined in 2013. The museum is headquartered at Frogner Manor in Frogner Park, together with two of its departments, Oslo City Museum and Theatre Museum. Number 18 The University Botanical Garden is Norway's oldest botanical garden. It was first established in 1814 and is administrated by the University of Oslo. It is situated in the neighborhood of Toyen in Oslo, Norway. Number 19 Norway's Resistance Museum also known as the Norwegian Home Front Museum is a museum located at the Akershus Fortress in Oslo. The museum collection focuses on Norwegian resistance during the occupation of Norway by Nazi Germany from 1940 to 1945. The museum displays equipment, photos and documents from the war years. The museum was established as a foundation in 1966. The museum was opened to the public in May 1970 by Crown Prince Harald of Norway in celebration of the 25th anniversary of Norwegian liberation. Architectural planning was entrusted to Norwegian architect Otto Torgerson who working together with key personnel representing various branches of the underground forces, produced a chronological gallery through the period from the prelude in the 1930s onwards to liberation in 1945. The museum's first manager was Knut Haugland, who managed the museum until 1983. Tor Gjelsvik was chairman of the museum's council from 1964 to 1973. Arnfinn Moland was appointed manager of the museum in 1995. Number 20 Gol Stave Church is a stave church originally from Gol in the traditional region of Hallingate in Buskerud County, Norway. 
The reconstructed church is now a museum and is now located in the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History at Bygdøy in Oslo, Norway. Number 21 The Natural History Museum at the University of Oslo is Norway's oldest and largest museum of natural history. It is situated in the neighborhood of Toyen in Oslo, Norway. It traces its roots to the University Botanical Garden, which was founded near Toyen Manor in 1814. Museums for zoology, botany and geology were added approximately a hundred years later, when the university campus in central Oslo had become too small for such purposes. Major proponents were Valdemar Christopher Brogger and Nordal Will. For most of the 20th century the museums and botanical garden were organized in five different entities, these were merged on 1 August 1999. The current name dates from 2005. The Zoological Museum displaying wildlife from Norway as well as the rest of the world. The Botanical Garden contains 35,000 plants, 7,500 species and two exhibition greenhouses. The Geological Museum contain research material of more than 2 million fossils, rock specimens and minerals. A selection of specimens are on display in both the Geological Museum and the Zoological Museum. Among the attractions is the Darwinius Massili fossil, Ida, a primate from the Eocene Epoch. Number 22 St. Olive's Cathedral is the Cathedral of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Oslo and the Parish Church of St. Olive's Parish in Oslo, Norway. The cathedral has church services and masses in Norwegian and several other languages, including English and Polish. Number 23 Frogna Bade is a pool complex in the borough of Frogna in Oslo, Norway. It was designed by architect Frode Rinnen. Located adjacent to Frognerparken, it opened in 1956, and doubles as a public bath and swimming pool and a professional swimming venue. The festival Norwegian Wood used to be hosted within its premises. Number 24 Old Acker Church is a medieval-era church located in Oslo, Norway. An active parish, the church is the oldest existing building in Oslo. The church is surrounded by Old Acker Cemetery. Number 25 Hervenbukta is a swimming and recreation area southeast of the city centre of Oslo, Norway, located at the shores of Bunnefjorden in the borough of Sondra Nordstron, and not far from Elgin and Homelia. The area originally belonged to Elgin Mansion. The main building here was from 1765, and burned down in 1913. Former Acker Municipality took over the properties in 1937. Some of the remaining buildings in the area is now used by artists and artisans. The site has one of Oslo's most popular beaches, with swimming opportunities along the sandy beach and from the rocks along the fjord. The bathing area in Hervenbukta has a terrace cafe and kiosk, toilets and outhouse, picnic tables, showers and drinking water units. The place is usable for disabled and has a lifeguard during the summer months. In Hervenbukta there is also a campsite. Thank you for watching.